Hey everybody, uh, happy Friday. I hope everyone's having a great start to the Friday uh, afternoon, Friday morning. It's 1049, uh, March 12th, 2021. I'm getting ready for the weekend. Now, uh, I, I wanted to make a quick video to jump back into the Bolt EV and talk a little bit about the uh, regenerative braking. Uh, now, I know if you saw my last video, I had a little, a few issues pronouncing that. Um, so hopefully I gave it a, a little better shot there. But um, regenerative braking is going to be one of the functions that allow the Bolt EV um, to drive as smooth as it does. And it's, and it's like one uh, well-oiled machine without the oil. Uh, now, regenerative braking is so important because as many of you know, uh, you're going to have a charge on your vehicle. Now, the Bolt EV is going to allow you to have up to 259 miles uh, with a full charge. Um, regenerative braking is a very, very, very uh, clever and practical way um, to savor all of that energy and prolong it a little bit longer than uh, than you may without using it. Uh, now, that being said, around you will see uh, the main screen for the Bolt EV has an energy tab up here. And we're gonna click that. Uh, and one of the screens on energy are gonna be the flow of the vehicle. Now you'll notice uh, it's gonna show the battery here and anytime I pick up acceleration, you're going to see energy leaving the battery. Now what regenerative braking does, which I'll explain to you how that works, you're gonna see the energy going back into the battery. So it's almost like recycled energy. Now most vehicles, uh, just like this one, you're gonna have a brake and an acceleration. Now you'll see down here, I'm gonna put it in drive. All right, and you'll notice I start to pick up, I start to roll a little bit, okay? Now when you put it down in low gear, um, and, and by no means does that uh, limit your acceleration whatsoever, that just allows you to access one pedal driving. So you'll see me completely take off the, the brake pedal. I'm not going anywhere whatsoever, zero miles an hour. Now you will notice as I pick up acceleration, energy will leave the battery. There it goes, goodbye energy. Okay, now I am rolling. I'm gonna slowly take my foot off the acceleration, never touching the brake pedal once, and I'm gonna show you why that's important. I'm gonna come out here on the road. Don't worry everyone, I have my seatbelt on. And you'll, you'll notice the energy leaving the battery again taking my foot off the acceleration. Now, as I get up to a little bit higher speed, my foot never comes over to the brake. And here I am going 13. And watch as I take my foot off, there goes the energy right back into the battery until I come to zero. Now, obviously, if you have an emergency and you need to hit that brake pedal, by all means, we do not want any accidents. We want everyone to have a smooth, safe drive. And here I come again, taking my foot off the acceleration. Now, why this is so important, uh, it's like fuel economy, all right? Your your vehicle uh, definitely wants to, definitely wants to, uh, recycle that energy any way it can in order to uh, allow you to utilize every possible uh, avenue of energy. Now, how this works, and you'll see I'm, I'm getting up to tops, you know, getting up a little quicker. Now, how this works is what the vehicle does, rather than putting that energy all into the brake pads, you know, and I'm gonna slowly come off the acceleration as I make this left, and you'll notice the energy going back into the vehicle never once hitting that brake pad you see it going back into the vehicle now instead of the energy going straight into the brake pads what it does is it harnesses that energy uh, the speed and everything and the heat it captures it and it recycles it back into the battery here I go again I'm gonna take off that acceleration Never once hitting a brake. That energy is going right back into that battery. So, again, guys, 
This is just a super effective way for you to harness all the energy you can to make the best out of that, would it be fuel economy? Hmm. We'll have to come back to that. So there it is, guys. Come to a full stop, my foot never hitting the brake. Now guys, as electric vehicles start to hit the market more and more, um, you're gonna need someone by you to, to kind of teach you about it, and I'd love to be that guy. There's a lot of components coming on this vehicle um, that are gonna be new for a lot of people, including myself, uh, until you start to understand them. So if you have any questions, any concerns, or you wanna know how to fit an electric vehicle into your fleet, um, just give me a call or stop by Jeff Gordon Chevrolet and ask for Chad. I'm one of the new car sales and lease consultants, and I would be absolutely honored uh, to help you in your journey uh, to move electric. Have a good day, guys. Thanks.